Appreciate your view. You know I do. Thanks for the like while you're thinking about it too. Very kind of you. And a big thank you from me to you, my Libra friends. Uh, many, many, many of you have blessed me over the years. I always want to take a minute of gratitude and thank you. Libra, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Going to play a little bit of tarot. Going to freestyle with heaven and earth tonight. Um, relationships, friends. They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. They can talk about love, too. I do got a couple of love cards right here, Gemini. And I got. we're going to freestyle also with the Golden Art Name. Who? Going to give you a nice full spread. Have a fun oracle deck here. It's called Mystic Moon Oracle. And a couple of major arcana to top off your spread. From the Tarot Apocalyptus. All that being said, it is tarot time. Libra style. Did you see that? This jumped out right here. I guess we are playing tarot. That is a major arcana. That is judgment. This is my card about Phoenix from its ashes. Um... We'll see what judgment's about, huh? Uh, it seems to be a theme these days. Although, you know, some say that uh, 2024 is a year of karma playing out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're right about in the middle of the doggone thing right now. Pluto has gone retrograde. Pluto went into Aquarius, uh, I think a little... Sometime late last year. It's gone retrograde now. And it is going to go all the way back into Capricorn for a season. I think around September or October. But judgment is coming out a lot these days. Uh, it's a Scorpio card. Again, it's a card of epiphanies, enlightenment. It is a card of making judgment calls. Uh, I mean, it shows Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, blowing a trumpet, blowing a trumpet around here. Powerful card. Libra, 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 Libra. Two swords came out. This is a Libra card right here. Um, the, these have f fonts, uh, keywords written on them. Can't really see them on the TV. I can read it. You know what it says? It says peace. It says peace. Now, um, two swords traditionally for me, you know, um, can be about a decision that needed to be made. Um, the character right here is sitting on a bench and the tide is coming in. So they can't send it forever. Maybe you made a choice. You made a decision. Or maybe you're about to. I love peace on there after judgment. What's going on around here? My Libra babies. My Libra babies. <laughs> Another angel showed up. Another Archangel Libra. Archangel Michael. Temperance just showed up around here. I have my own flavor with my meanings of my tarot cards. Um, I put, a, I put um, the art of allowance with this card many times. That's an art form that we're all learning as high flyers. To allow nothing but the best into our lives. It's a Sagittarius card. You have Archangel Michael. You have Archangel Gabriel. And you have peace written on two swords. So there may be a judgment call you're about to make right here. I see the angels got your back. Let's go. Give me more. Give me more on this. My Libras. The Five of Pentacles. 
Um, I mean, that is a card of lack. Who are you thinking about, Libra? <laughs> That's what this is talking about to me. Because, <laughs> see, Michael showed up. He's the cup blender around here. And Five of Pentacles can be a soulmate energy. Um, two soulmates uh, may have gone their way at one particular point in time. I'm saying all that because Six Cups is here, too. That's a card about sweet thoughts and nostalgia. Two soulmates right here. They come play with each other incarnation after incarnation. When one feels left out in the cold, the other one feels that too. So that's what two swords could be about. Choose peace. What is this right here? Making a judgment call for many of my Libras. Making a judgment call. <clears throat> says to me that... Uh, Um, some of you may have felt like, um, you made a wrong decision at one time. You know, there's nine swords right there. That's air energy. You know, that's sleepless nights and, um, and, uh, you may feel that you, oh, Libra, my lovely Libras. Oh, and definitely, oh, it's a separation story. Here we go. I'm going to tell this story here. So we got uh, Archangel Michael showing up. He's the cup blender. And that can be a reconciliation energy, too. Judgment about making a judgment call. Maybe about where you're at. Time maybe to get up off that bench right there because the tide's coming in. Talks about change coming in. I think I'm in your thoughts. I'm in your dreams. I'm in your hopes. Um, because the star came out. The star came out, my Libra. Which is a card of hope and faith and healing. Dreams that come true. Um... A lot of challenging cards right here. I want to, first of all, if you if you resonate with me, love on yourself, because I do see change here. I definitely see change here. See, this is a story that I'm picking up on about who I call my king and my queen of swords. And these are back to back with each other in these cards in my hand. Um, these are two soulmates. These are these two soulmates right here. These are these two soulmates right here. Um, there's been some kind of separation with these two right here. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'll let it go at that, man. Um, but these are very, very powerful. Uh, it's a very, very, it's two cups. I'm picking up on a two cup story here where the devil got involved in this story somehow, some way. And um, it does look to me with these cards in this hand right here that this can talk about the ending of a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn with these two right here, these two, these soulmates that showed up. Because this is my hero's card, Libra. This is somebody who's decided to stand up and do what's best for them. And choose the path that they're going to go down. Don't matter who likes it or who don't like it. Wow, powerful spread right here for somebody. And there we go, right there. There we go, right there. I want to get another deck out. There we go, right there. That's eight cups. Um, that's walking away from a situation that's no longer uh, fulfilling to you. Heading up to the mountaintop to spend some time with the divine. Healing the heart. Healing healing the mind. And uh, just coming out of this ten swords energy, this nine swords energy. Going up there to talk with Source about your dream right here. Probably about a rekindling. Let's see. Let's see. Let's shift decks right here. 
my Libra, and see where this story picks up from right here at Eight of Cups. It's about walking away from this very toxic energy. Walking away from a very toxic energy and going up to the mountaintop. And I do see a soulmate energy uh, that's in your cards right here. So let's pick up from Eight of, Eight of Cups, please, love team. What do we got for my Libra babies? My Libra babies. My Libra babies. My Libra babies. Where we're we going right here? Oh. I don't know. Somebody's about to make an offer. That's a Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. I mean, I'm reading for Libra. Get me vice versa, right? Uh, Page of Pentacles, somebody's been thinking about uh, making this offer for a long time. They've been thinking long and hard about it. It's a, it's a FaceTime card for me, telephone call, maybe coffee, maybe sushi. Let's go, Libra. Libra, something going up to the mountaintop, do a little healing. Then comes uh, some kind of communication right here. There's your card, man. There's your card, Libra, male or female. That is the Empress back on their throne. She always births a new world for me. She's birthing something new, something creative. That is Venus just showed up around here, Libra. Love and abundance. See, this is like a new offer. Either you're giving it or one's coming in here for you. I'm just standing up and doing what's best for you. It might be, it might be these two. This, uh, <laughs> this king and this queen of swords are so beside each other right here. That's six cups. Oh, that's six cups. Oh, I'm loving this right here. Let's go. Give me some more on this. Give me some more on this, my Libra. My Libra babies. Talks about some old friends talking again, at least. Talking about happy days. There's that doggone King of Swords again, Libra. What? <laughs> I'm fun with this. There's the Six of Wands. That's a card about victory after the battle, confidence in yourself, receiving the attention that you're worthy of. Six Wands for me is also a committed energy, just saying right here, after Six Cups. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, my little magician. I like that right there. That's a Mercury again. It can be a communication card. It's the number one, Libra. It's about new beginnings possibly all around in your life. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pins, Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands, the Magician showed up. The love story opening up here for Libra. The lover. <laughs> the lover. Manifesting the lover. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> Hi, Libra. Here's my cop. Oh, Lord, have we got a nice love story. The Dance of Change showed up. Two pins. The dance of change going on around here for Libra. Okay, dokie. Give me one. Give me one. Libra. Wow. That's ten pens right there, Libra. That's the that's the tree of life on there. It's the little white picket fence and the big pink house. It's the power couple. It says you're manifesting. Your lover or vice versa ten of pentacles style wow 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 go on with yourself go on with yourself libra leaving the days of toxicity behind cutting chains that bind judgment making a call right here maybe judgment on a devil over there too just saying Something really sweet right here. A king and queen of swords seem to be talking again in the near future, my Libra. I'm loving it. it has the potential to go to the land of ten pinnacles. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Mystic Moon Oracle. 
Tell me a little more, tell me a little more about my Libra, my lovely, lovely Libra. Admired. Well, if you're wondering, if this story's been resonating with you and there's been some kind of separation, and if you're wondering how they feel about you, I would say that you're highly admired by them. That's a beautiful card, eh? It's got butterflies dancing around a little ballerina. Oh, this is a story about that, man. See, there's there they are in the 5D. There they are in the 5D. I know what I'm looking at right here. I'm looking at some very powerful soulmates that miss each other. <laughs> oh, wow, it's got a candle burning here too, Libra. Damn, look at this story, man. And look, there's the cycles of the moon. Hmm, we just had that Scorpio full moon, didn't we? Judgment was the first card out of this Scorpio card. Change. Change. New direction. New direction. Looks like a place where the sun shines over there, Libra. Oh, look at this. This is a, well, it should have been in another deck, but it's here. I'm going to put it back where it belongs. It's that four cups. There's that ace of cups coming in. You know, look at that love, past, present, you know, near future. Those are all empty. It's right here in this deck. It's that ace of cups. There's that ace of cups. And there is a release card right there. Very powerful spread, man. Give me a love card on this for my Libras. My Libras. My lovely, lovely Libras. Wow. <laughs> I'll let you peek in a minute. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Um... I'm going to show you, it says, staying optimistic about your love life. You know, maybe on the mountaintop right now. Uh, positive thinking and faith are bringing the romance that you desire. That's the power uh, of a tarot read. Can help you build your faith. That's why I try and stay very positive with my uh, tarot readings. Look at this one. The Divine Timing card came out with my Fifth Dimension Babies. Let me get it up here. And now look, they're on the earthly plane. A little bit of walking, a little bit of talking. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles garb on. Oh, my lovely, lovely Libra says, give it a shot. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. <laughs> Loving on yourself first. There you are right there. Pouring that cup on yourself. Being about the things of the divine. Look at that right there. And uh, wow, this could be the one. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Libra. Give me a major here for my Libra, babies. Give me a major for my Libras. My lovely, lovely Libras. <laughs> it's my divine feminine moon card right here, Libra. <laughs> back, you wild animals, back. <laughs> Look, it's got all the gods and the goddesses. They got your back. Uh-huh. Now the moon card came out. It's a card of intuition, psychic abilities. Yeah, definitely, definitely got your guard up. May have been playing, you know. Yeah, back you, back you. <laughs> anyway, give me one for my Libra, my lovely, lovely Libra. Oh wow, Aphrodite with the wheel. 
Aphrodite with the wheel, the wheel of change, the wheel of ending a karmic cycle, maybe the wheel of the return right here for many, many, many of my Libras. There is a tower here. Thank God. That's about change. Change for the better. All my love, Libra, what a powerful spread, huh? If you made it to the if you made it to this part in the reading. Thank you for your view. So very kind of you. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot card readers. If I have, Libra, smash that old subscription button right there, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that I like Mike button. And we're definitely gonna pick up on this story. Huh? I can say without a shadow of a doubt. Soon and very soon. Do what's best for you, Libra. All my love. Bye for now.